So hey there guys, this is another of those weird videos, drunk vlogs when I'm getting drunk and recording the video just because I want. So the topic for today's video is Fire Emblem game series and some of you know that I like it, mostly uh, people from China, viewers from China know that I like it, I mean my friend told me, my moderator guy who saw who watches video instead of me uh, because there's spoilers in there and then he said that quite a lot of uh, guys got Fire Emblem uh, references in different videos I had those in my Attack on Titan basically the latest reaction and in the last re uh, video to ReZero so yeah Fire Emblem and especially the topic of the day of today is Fire Emblem uh, soundtrack the official limited edition soundtrack that I ordered this is so great Ooh. but before we begin so yeah today was the day that um, in my country we celebrate uh, a uh, holiday I mean we celebrate it a few days later technically but today was the day what I mean working people celebrated it because the, the real day is a holiday so you cannot celebrate it so today and at my workplace we celebrated the day of a protector of motherland basically uh, a fatherland if if you're gonna be like very uh correct so fatherland protection day oh that's a sound and i am actually a real protector this called this is called a basically a warrior ticket warrior ticket so i am a warrior uh, and like there's a star and shit so if you're gonna attack my country i am gonna kill your ass so yeah it, it, it has all the information so i am a warrior if something's gonna happen i'm gonna kill you so don't attack my country Let's be friends, guys. Um, and that's not the topic. So the real topic is Fire Emblem Limited Edition soundtrack. Here it is. Beautiful thing. Unfortunately, my camera is going weird. I mean, I'm not here for a real good unboxing with like different cameras and stuff. I'm just showing my little experience with it. So, but let's start. I mean, I'm gonna... I don't know about timestamps and stuff but yeah if you're watching it you're watching it i mean you're a real bro of the channel before we begin about the soundtrack a little history so i am a fire emblem fan and i'm not the real fire emblem fan as it's as it should be basically from you know those real fans that were following the series from the very very first uh, game, you know, on a Nintendo Entertainment System that I have, I own it, here it is, the miracle, American, but the, it wasn't there, it was on Famicom, though it's not Famicom, it's a clone of Famicom, I'm gonna buy Famicom later, and this is the real Famicom AV, the best Famicom ever, so the real Fire Emblem games were released on Famicom, and I don't have them though, yet. Um, and I didn't start my experience with Fire Emblem at those times. Unfortunately, I was a very different kid and I uh, had different pleasures in my life. I liked my Doom and I liked my Sega and yeah, different interests. But at some point uh, at the last year, I bought this game, Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I liked the hell out of this game. I played it whole. I spent 240 hours, people, playing it. And I didn't finish it completely. I finished two routes out of basically four, but fourth is like, eh, you don't have to play it. It's basically the same as the other one. So I haven't finished the Dimitri route yet at uh, the hardest difficulty but it's just because i got kind of distracted and kind of just just let it go and, i mean i might get saying stuff so uh, i liked it a lot and after i played this game i learned that there's like a whole community and like a lot of different games and i got my 
Nintendo 3DS XL, new Nintendo 3DS XL, and I'm playing, and I'm playing, yep, you can see that bandits appearing, this is Fire Emblem Awakening. I bought this console new, brand new from France, uh, and I'm playing Fire Emblem Awakening now. More than almost 60 hours, really love this game, amazing game, like fucking love it. Um, I also own Fates, and it's not just a regular Fates, this is, guys, a collector's goddamn edition that costs <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, I spend a lot to buy that. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, it's just amazing. So this game, this little cartridge, have all of the three routes basically. It's, it, it's having the Faith, the Bright, I mean every one of those, plus the DLC on one cartridge. So that's why I bought it, because I want my physical copies. And of course I own Echoes that are not even opened yet, I'm gonna play it later. So yeah, this is it, and I am. I ordered Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. It's it's coming. It's somewhere in the you know in 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 shipping currently. Oh, man, this thing is so expensive. God damn it! This is not even funny. I spent one and a half hundred dollars just for the thing, fifty dollars for the shipping, and twenty more dollars to fucking company in my country to make the, you know, the, the to, to let it through basically, or I'm gonna have to go there in the airport and run in with the papers and uh, yeah, I have all the documents around, this is a very difficult thing, so I paid my money for that, so it's very expensive shit, and the most expensive as far as I know is uh, GameCube one, the one with like Radiant, not Radiant Dawn, but Path of Radiance. Uh, so I plan to buy all of the Fire Emblem games, all of them, and have them all in my collection. Um, but I mean, as all as um, as well, when I bought my three houses and I booted it and I started the real game. I heard the music from the game. I'm not gonna play the music because YouTube gonna fucking copyright it. But there's a great amazing music. I'm gonna place the name of the music right in the description. Right in the fucking top of the description. Just that music that I really liked from the main menu. And that was amazing. When I heard it, I'm like, whoa, I got in love with it. And with, uh, uh, it was uh, 2020... I think I kind of forget. Anyways, one sec. I'm drinking some weird stuff because there's no good beer currently because everyone bought the beer because the, the fucking male holiday. So every every single person bought the beer to himself. So I booted this game and there was an amazing soundtrack in there. And guess what? I decided that I want that soundtrack, and it's not like I want to hear it, I want to own it. And in some time I heard that they are doing that. They are making the soundtrack. And I found it. And I ordered it. And here it is. You cannot even see that because of the f f lights and stuff. This is a fatty. This is a limited edition Fire Emblem Three Houses soundtrack, guys. Ooh, I'm gonna tell you whatever the thing it is. I'm gonna show you it. We're gonna unpack it. I mean, this is not an unboxing video. This is just a stupid video of me doing the thing. So we're opening it up. Let's move it from the thing. All right, here you go. There was uh, just a thing that showed some Japanese people saying stuff about their life. I don't speak Japanese, unfortunately. And here we have two different boxes. One is white that says something in, in Japanese. I know, it's like, Ooh, ooh, konnichiwa, arigato gozaimasu, uh, kanshan shimasu, and... Um, 
Kurose something. <laughs> and this box. This beautiful box that have a lot of things in there. If you're gonna look at there's like some stuff in there. The big box and some stuff. And if you're gonna turn this off, this is all of the guys from the game. My loved ones, like Listy, I love the girl. Petra and and I mean I mean I know all of the, all of them like Ralph I know all of them there's like Bernadetta hiding in there ooh this is such a pleasure guys so let's start with a little box that's I mean not a little box with well, a Japanese box that's in here and this is the thing that separates limited edition from regular edition you know not a cool edition so we're opening it. And here you go, look at that, a beautiful box, a beautiful blue box, what can it be? I mean, probably, if if someone, some of you watches this video because, not because of my channel, but because of the Fire Emblem, you probably know what's that. This is, guys, an amazing thing. This is an instruction on Japanese with like a funny, funny thing. So we're opening it and this is a fully mechanical, beautiful looking music box. Oh shit, how can I show you that? My my lights are not capable of doing it. This is a mechanical, not the one that you're like, you know, moving. Because I have one, like French one. This is the one that you're making working. And this one plays the music, the main music from the, from the game. Look at it. beautiful thing and it plays it keeps playing until the thing is turning it's ending amazing thing oh it stopped it moves you know you can see the thing moving oops So, it's amazing. Stop playing, goddammit. And, this is the limited edition stuff. And I'm glad I have it. I mean, it's not like I really like this music. I like the, I like the different one. But that thing is the boss. Ooh, let's open that out. I mean, we have to move this thing. Whoosh. So this is just to keep this all. And here we go, the box and some stuff. Let's look at some stuff. So the stuff is cards. What's they called? Postcards. Postcards with our guys, our main guys from the story. And postcards with all of the characters, you know, in the cartoony way, not the cartoony, but the old-fashioned way, and from the main menu with our girl, and this famous carrot cart with, uh, with our guys, and even the DLC, we have the DLC guys here, man, I love Constance so much, this girl is like the best ever, <laughs> I love her so much, and this is the basically the same thing that showed all the characters, this is some book, that, I mean, not a book, but um, uh, some some paper that shows what are their song names in there on different discs and there's a uh, um, Sound directors letter so guys that made music for that they let our People read the letters and unfortunately we cannot speak Japanese and this thing doesn't sell in non-Japanese countries, unfortunately, so we cannot understand them. And you guys, you Japanese guys, have to understand. We love your shit, goddammit. Sell this to us. 
officially translate this to us. We're going to buy that. I mean, we're still going to buy that. But if you're going to, I mean, I'm not against paying more. If you're going to give it to me, like in my language, and I can understand everything, like a little bonus here and there, you know, but they're not giving to us that. This is very bad. And the most important thing, the box with CDs, it shows our guys for basically from the picture of the game. Um, and here we have, you know, I mean, I'm not going to go into plot details. And that thing contains not one, not two, not three, not four, not even five, not even six discs. That thing contains six discs plus one DVD bonus disc. You cannot see it because my lights are not capable. And this is a whole soundtrack including the DLC and of course I of course I opened this before yesterday when I or and when I got this thing uh, and I burned this not burned but but I got this from the disc in the best quality on my computer and what can I say guys I have I've downloaded the uh, the basically the pirated the uh, the what's the what can I call it the version the version that was taken from the directly from the game from the resources of the game that had all the music in there from the torrents and I I basically can tell you that this is almost the same I mean probably the sound quality is a bit better a bit better because. Mm, it depends on how you listen to it. Of course, MP3 is a nice format if you're listening to it with like basic uh, headphones. And those basic those headphones that I'm using, those are not like very basic. Those are Sennheisers, and they're very expensive ones. But they're not very expensive ones because I have a very expensive ones. Those my Sennheiser HD 650s. Those are like badass. 300 ohm headphones those are like so good you will not even believe it and but for those to really work you have to own something more than just stupid headphones you have to own a sound amplifier and i own dark voice 336 se that's for 300 ohms with all those Lambs, this is an American one, awesome one, I like it so much. Um, so with those, if you put those things and those headphones, and if you're gonna put it in a real good sound source, like, uh, as example, my... Oh, uh, where is that? PlayStation 1 SCPH 1000. If you don't know, the original PlayStation, you know, the first ever released of PlayStations, Sony PlayStation 1, had the best ever sound engine in there, sound processor. And you can check this one have all the ports. This one is the most expensive and the most awesome PlayStation ever. And this is one called Audiophilic or whatever you call it. Like this is this this thing plays music the same as like five thousand dollars a music source, you know, music play player. So this is a very awesome thing and I love it. This was customly modified for myself. This one is awesome. So if you're gonna put this one and you're gonna check connect it to the amplifier and stuff, they're gonna be playing awesome. I mean, I also own PlayStation 1001, this one for 
America, USA. And you can check there's one thing missing in here. Yep. Missing. And in the latest PlayStation, they're like, everything is missing. Just two ports is left. So this is good. This is the best. But others are like shit. And if you're gonna listen with that uh, equipment, yeah, of course you're gonna hear the difference because this is a CD quality. This is a big difference. But if you're gonna listen with normal headphones or even without headphones, you're not gonna be noticing any difference. It's just the same shit. This place, oh yeah, like, that's how those, like, like nothing. Awesome PlayStation as well, but anyways so that's the thing and This soundtrack where is it? Where's the soundtrack? Oh Here it is This soundtrack has absolutely the same music as it was in the soundtrack that was ripped from the switch from the real game it has the same music, basically the same quality, and I can't say everything really good or bad about it. It's just the fact that it's an original thing, and that I bought it, and that I supported Nintendo and Intelligent Systems, you know, the guys who created that game. It's no better, it's the same thing. They did not... Uh, gave us the raw version of the music. That's very sad because I was hoping they're gonna give us some special music or or samples of the music that are unique that there were not in the game But no, they gave the same thing just not compressed and basically CD quality so in terms of the quality if you're able to Differentiate the quality with all the equipment you have well the and then you're probably gonna differentiate the quality If you're not able and you have like normal headphones like 250 bucks and something I mean this is expensive too too much expensive to be called normal, but they're not capable to show in to uh, to, to make the music open and stuff. This is just a good headphones and not even close to my Sennheisers, you know because this one are used when you have to hear whatever is fucking playing. You have to hear the real sound without making it better or worse. It's just, ew, it's just that thing. So, all things considered, I think this soundtrack is, is amazing. But it's no better than the soundtrack that's going into the YouTube or... Th Torrents, you know, it's just basically the same thing, but the music box all those Card boxes and the collector thing that Warms my heart and that should warm your heart if you're liking the thing and I imply you to buy it and Support the game developers because if you know the history Fire Emblem had a lot of issues had a lot of difficulties during the development and they need our support and I'm supporting them as much as I can. I mean, I ordered Radiant Dawn at cost like 250 bucks almost. I'm gonna order Path of Radiance that costs basically five, 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 God damn it, $500 and I don't even own GameCube yet. I have to buy it, but I will buy it because I'm a crazy person. And yeah, that's a little crazy video that I wanted to share with you. And if you watched it, it means either you're a very big fan of my channel and nice bro, give me your boo, bro fist, or you're just inter interested in Fire Emblem. And I hope you got some information about the thing. I don't know, I haven't shown everything. This is a little paper that's with the music box. You cannot even see that because I don't have automatic camera thing, so I don't know. I have here got some entertainment. I mean, I'm enjoying my Fire Emblem, and I'm glad that I'm a new fan that getting into old games, and I will collect all of the games ever created about Fire Fire Emblem. I will. I will play some, you know, some 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 planks, some wooden planks in there. We're gonna plays them games 
here and there and oh that's gonna be looking beautiful it's gonna be a whole collection there's not a single game and i own more than 200 games guys you just don't you just don't see them but i own more than 200 games like literal physical copies of them um so i don't know why i'm sad i started with something so 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 yeah it's 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 gonna be oh i remember it i own all of those games but i don't have the real the full collection of such a long series i mean i have few gears of war few this few that like bioshock but fire emblem is the series that i'm gonna collect all and i imply you to try these games if you're into uh, tactical and story focused gameplay and that's basically it I mean yeah <laughs> a little short drunk vlog even though I haven't even drink the thing but that's good I don't I didn't even want to because people are gonna dislike this we go oh you're drunk and stuff so thank you for watching I hope you got some interest and entertainment from this video and um, yeah, see you in the next one. That's going to be pretty soon. Bye-bye, guys.